I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. One of the exercises I like to do is called Siamese Force. I pre-select categories and force hands in those categories. There are two reasons why I like to do this. The first reason is because I want to train myself to play all over the card. By picking these categories in advance, I force myself to play things that I might not normally think about. The other reason why I like to do this is because when I play in special events, live events, I suppose we could figure out a way to do it virtually, but the organizers of the events would pick out categories or even hands in advance and give away special prizes. So I force myself to play those pre-selected areas of the card in hopes of winning a prize. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here are the categories we're going to force. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, 27 tiles, then 28 tiles. So we have jokers, flower, dragon, green dragon, East and West pair of Wests. We also have cracks, one, three, four, nine, pairs of ones and nines. In bams, we have one, two, five, six, seven, nine, a pung of twos. Here we have in dots, one, two, three, four, eight, pairs of two, three. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? Now keep in mind, we have to force these categories. If these were my tiles, I think I would try a quint and consecutive run. I would probably leverage this pung for the quint and go with the first quint. This is light, but we have jokers. We could use them here to help. We only need one joker here. We could even quint that too right now if it were discarded, but I would build on that. Then consecutive run. This looks kind of bleak but we could do a quint with the twos and one, two, three, four, five, fifth hand down under consecutive run. Use these as joker bait, start by discarding those. I was thinking that maybe we could do the, cons the mix suit odd hand one, three, five, seven, nine dot. But that would affect the quint and, and that gap of no nine dots would be a problem. And we'd have to throw away these two pair. So either way, we're gonna have multiples that we can leverage for joker bait. And if you wanna know more about that strategy, look for links in the video description below. I have lots of demonstrations on that strategy. It was a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. And basically you hold pairs that you're not going to use. And in the middle game, you discard one of them, 
hoping that your opponent will make an exposure with a joker and then use the other one to make the exchange. So here I would try for a quint and consecutive run. This is kind of an interesting strategy too because we're going for a difficult hand and a simple hand. This actually is a 30 point hand, so it's a little harder than the 25 point hands. So it, it will be a challenge. It, this will take some fancy footwork. We have a flower, northeast white dragon. We have lots of cracks, one through seven, and we have a pung of sevens. All the others are singles. In dots, we have one, two, four, five, nine, pairs of ones and fours. In bams, we have one, two, four, seven, eight, nine, pairs of twos. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you play and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would probably play either a year hand or like numbers with twos and odds, primarily because we have only two wins. So I'm thinking like numbers with twos or a year hand because this is a pre-selected category. We do have the ability in here to play two, four, six, eight. So I think as a plan B, because it is bleak, I would hold two, four, six, eight. We wouldn't get a prize if we didn't play that, uh, if we played two, four, six, eight, because we don't have evens up there, but I would hold it as a plan B. And then down here, I would play something with one, three, five, seven, nine. Maybe I would play five, seven, seven, nine. Let's see, that would be the third hand down. We would have a lot of discards, but I would start there. The other thing I was thinking is, we could maybe play one, three, mix suit, five, seven, nine, the mix suit hand. We have a gap of no three dot. But if we could get a three dot, we could play that mix suit odd hand, and these would all be discards. So we have eight discards probably. I would keep these though and just play it out and see what comes in because there are a lot of different things that can be done with these tiles. We could maybe even play the concealed one, three, five, seven, nine hand. And I would want to try to do something in odds. We maybe could even play a pair hand here, but then we wouldn't get a prize. So I would force a hand in odds. So probably like numbers and odds. I think like numbers has a better potential than a year. Well, maybe not actually, because we could do a year hand here. There's a year hand that uses multiples of twos, or we could even do it this way and hope for one more white dragon and build up here with jokers. 
So I think maybe a year hand has one tile better of an opportunity. And then we could have a plan B of an even hand. This is going to be a challenge because we need to force winds and dragons and we have one wind, one wind, which is why I'm thinking maybe we could play a wind year hand. At least we have some options. I would try for news with the year, in which case we could use this to help us with like numbers. That's it. That's all we have for the, for the wind and dragon category, four tiles. <laughs> okay, so like numbers, we have ones, we have a pung of threes, we have a four, four, and we have nines. Each would have multiples, so that's where I would start. Oh, we can use that too there. Five tiles, there's a little glimmer of hope. ones, fours, or nines. Whatever we don't use would be joker bait. And that's how I would do this particular set of tiles. Like numbers with ones, fours, or nines, and then news with the year. Oh, we need these up here. This is gonna be really hard because we need flowers for the like number hand too. All right, work is cut out for us. We have eight discards and a healthy chunk there of joker bait. Let me know if you would do something different here, forcing these. Yikes. Winds and dragons, like numbers. That's what it looks like sometimes when you're forcing hands. It's a little bleak. But you've got time to build with all those discards. Just gather, 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 make it work. When you play Siamese Mahjong, you get 28 and 27 tiles respectively, depending on which player you are. Because you have so many tiles, you can force just about anything to happen. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.